Welcome to another episode of the Need for Speed Most Wanted Mod Showcase, and in this episode, uh, after I took a look at a bit of my request list, I realized that I could have a bit of a very certain kind of themed episode. One, they're, it's all, all the three of these cars come from a Need for Speed game, and two, all three of them are Mustangs, ironically enough. The first of which, of course, we'll be looking at, we're going to be doing this more so in chronological order of when... Uh, these were first seen. So we start, of course, with the Ford Mustang RTRX. RTR, of course, stands for Ready to Rock, as it shows right there. Uh, the RTRX was first from uh, Shift to Unleash. This is an actual uh, Mustang that was made by the team Need for Speed uh, for Von Gittin Jr. in 2010 and is unlockable in Shift to Unleashed if. You uh, defeat Von Gittin Jr. in thing I don't remember entirely because I haven't played Shift 2 in ages. Uh, you can also uh, get this in Need for Speed The Run, and is also was also available in Need for Speed World. I think it was also in the uh, mobile version of Shift 2 as well, but I can't remember entirely for sure off the top of my head. Uh, oh, actually, if I'm I forgot to show off some little bit of customization because there is a little there's a little bit of it. You it, the car can actually come with actually comes without any livery, so you can have like a you can just have it be like a more fresh stock looking one or you can have the RTRX designs of course the original green there's even one with a red a blue a pink and a yellow I of course stick with the green because that was what the, was on the car the only unfortunate thing is the wheels themselves are not are not green I don't know why the modder made them black personally and he did mention something about a way to change the colors of the rims but I honestly would rather not go through that so it's very disappointing that they're initially black. It should have been they should have been green as default, or at least you should have made it so that in the body options it would change the color depending on which one you went with. That would have been pretty cool, but alas, that was not meant to be. This also replaces the Chevrolet Camaro SS, which is a bit of an interesting choice. Anyways, so as per usual, we're taking these cars over to the. We, we are jump cut there, sorry. But anyways, as per usual, we take these cars over to the uh, Petersburg uh, little circuit track. Four, three flying laps. No, no little, no, uh, no use of shortcut. And we're going to find out exactly how fast we can get these cars around the track. Now, uh, before I go really any further talking about this car or anything, I should, I'm going to take the time here to mention uh, about the requests. Um... I have over 230 cars currently requested, which is an awful lot of cars currently requested, obviously. And at this, at the rate that I'm going, it's going to take me a long time to get through them. And honestly, if I keep letting the list build up and up and up, I'll never be able to see a point where you know it's a little more, it's a little more controlled and can easily just uh, pinpoint some cars so uh, as much as it pains me to have to do this uh, right now I have currently closed down the uh, car requests list because there's just too many in there and I really need to get them down because you know it's really it's really starting to pile up quite an awful lot so I apologize to anyone who is waiting to give me a request but for the time being I need to get what I have done because there's just so many and because you know I'll put it this way if I was to keep going at, at a pace over, maybe say for example, I do an episode a week, it would still be about a year and a half's worth of content. So, yeah, you can kind of see why I would really need to uh, start uh, bringing it down. So I'm going to be uh, doing that, uh, starting with this episode, and I'll probably get a few more episodes out a little bit faster because, well, I kind of. I don't want I don't want this thing I don't want this current request list to take like a year and a half to get through, so I'm gonna probably be doing it a, at least fairly a fairly a fair bit quicker. But you know, so again I apologize to anyone who may be bummed out by that if you had a request waiting. But I real I just really need to get through this list, so I'll I'll leave it if you if you haven't been able to uh, keep track of me listening or you're just here watching the video not listening to me talking. I'll have it pinned down in the comments as well, so you'll know about that as, as well over there. But anyways, uh, regardless, though, the Mustang RTRX, uh, f 
for replacing the Chevrolet Camaro SS, this is quite a nice upgrade. It, it goes an awful lot quicker than the than that car and handles fairly well. It's it's nicely com nicely composed. It's like I'm in, I'm in, I'm enjoying the way this car is uh, going right now. It's very very smooth. So it's also got a bit of an interesting engine note. It's got it's got the uh, the kind of sound engine sound from the Monaro and Pontiac GTO, but also has that sort of like race like kind of whine sound that you get from the uh, BMW M3 GTR. It's like a combination of those two things. And I quite like it. It's quite sounds quite nice. Much like how nice this car is driving right now. It's a very, very, very nice car. Smooth, controllable, all that kind of stuff. And my headphones are nearly falling off my head there, which is uh, a little bit irritating, but, you know, probably because of the awkward position I might be in. Oh, I came off that jump at such a weird angle that I was bound for the wall. Not exactly something I would have wanted. Or that. Ah, fuck. Ah, well. Gotta live with it. Because final lap and all that sort of stuff. Oh, boy. I really wish that you that you could kind of, like, edit, have, like, your own track edit. I make, like, versions so you can't run into things like that. But that, no such thing exists for this game, so I'm stuck with how it is. But anyways, 55.7 is the lap time set by the RTRX, which is pretty good. It's pretty decent, pretty decent lap time, especially for it to replace the uh, Camaro SS, where uh, customization is a bit limited. Now, the next two, I'm not really going to bother uh, showing off uh, modifications because you really can't do much to them. But uh, next we have is from the run, we have the Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. This particular run, run particular run... <laughs> This particular one, of course, is the one that's driven by Jack as one of the f starter cars in the run as a Tier 4 vehicle. This one specifically is ripped from Need for Speed World, as the bad ASP license plate would tell you. And, for whatever reason, this replaces the BMW M3 GTR. And still sounds like a BMW M3 GTR, which kind of goes to lengths to show you that this, this mod is a bit lazy. You, you also could. You also might notice there wasn't even any uh, any backfire in those exhausts. There was just nothing. So this is a, so this is admittedly a bit lazy. I mean, because I don't think any Mustang sounds like this. Definitely doesn't sound right. It is nice though. I mean, it is still nice that you know in an episode that it all ha it's all focused on one particular model of car just three different variants of it and generations of it uh, or well, I guess mostly two different generations as you will see but um, at least the, the nice thing about it though is that it, it, it they at least all replaced they all replaced like three different vehicles so you know I can you can have all of them at the, in the game at once which is cool so if you're if you're a Mustang guy then you definitely w might want to uh, and you definitely want to have as many as you can and this might be a way to do it Especially because then, if you have if you're Mustang guy, you can kind of redo a whole a whole sequence. As again, I that w what will be shown off at the uh, once we get to the final car. But for the time being, we're gonna just push this as much as we can. And yes, by the way, this is not I'm not driving the slower version of the M3 GTR. I am actually driving the fastest variant, and it's got all the parts on it. And so this is about as good as it. So this is about as good as it gets for this car, which is kind of disappointing because, you know, the M3 GTR does a lot better than this, but uh, nevertheless, it's we're not exactly getting it here, so, oops. So this is, there's only so much that I'm going to be able to manage here. And I should have gotten rid of the obstacles like I did with the RTR X, but... I, f I keep forgetting every time I, s I record one of these. I keep forgetting those little tiny aspects. Yeah, 59.74 is not particular. Is honestly to be, to put it blunt, not particularly very good. At least, at least in terms of what it's replacing, mind you, because the M3 GTR we did like a 53 second lap time. I'm sure if I was to go back to it after having done this track so many times, I could probably bring it down somewhere into 52 seconds, but yeah, you can... 
you can definitely see that the uh, Shelby here just it seems so out of place to put it to make it replace the uh, the M3 GTR it re like it really doesn't make a lot of sense but that's just how the modder designed it to make it replace that that said vehicle so oops but that that's how it is but in terms of how it drives it yeah it's a bit kind it's it's a bit sluggish on acceleration it's not particularly terrible but it's not particularly very wow some either and you know the handling's all uh, handling's fine handling's actually not too bad uh, that, that last time there was a 5836 though so I at least managed to knock off a whole a whole second so that's a little better but you know still a 58 second lap time isn't exactly anything to write home about so I'm just tr trying to do what I can here to get this thing pushing as much as possible Especially considering I missed taking out those obstacles on lap one, which would have been a, which would have been a very smart idea for my case, but not to be. And again, I, and again, the car kind of started to have a bit of slide, giving me a very, a very weird angle coming off the jump, and that could have been bad, but thankfully was not the case. And finishing off there, what are we going to? To finish with, that did feel like the best lap, and it was a 58.21. So, you know, it's okay, I guess, at the most, but nothing really to write home about. Anyways, the final Mustang on hand is the 2015 Mustang GT, this special, like, wide-body design. This Mustang GT is from the Need for Speed movie that was released in early 2014. Starred Aaron Paul in it as like the main protagonist and he drives this in one part of the film. I've actually never seen the Need for Speed movie to be perfectly honest. Uh, so it should be interesting to see what it's like when I eventually finally get around to watching it. I might have said things about it but yeah. You're yeah, just for fluff. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, this actually does not have the, uh, the, the striped livery on as default. It actually just has the, the red paint that's the standard of the Mustang GT. Because, yes, this actually replaces the Mustang GT. It's the only Mustang here that replaces, well, the Mustang. And at least this one has a little more accuracy design to it. It's, you know, it not only looks really clean, it's a very nice mo uh, model design here, but, you know, it's also got the backfire from the exhaust on, like, the, uh, the, the Super Snake from the, the run Super Snake, basically. So it's very nice. But yeah, like I said, it, the vinyl, uh, it's it comes as standard. Uh, it's and but it's interesting because it does have the vinyl support. All the there are body kits, but they're just basically all blank templates, just basically designed so that uh, you don't have like a floating car part uh, the car that shows up. And that's always and that's even if you never make a car with like any kind of ma any kind of uh, even if you never make any kind of design changes in design at least always give some blank templates for your body kits because that prevents the car from loading in looking like it's missing a lot of parts because of having something incompatible on the car but yeah in terms of vinyls though uh when it comes to the mustang uh, m the vinyls aren't correctly mapped so the only vinyls that really work with it are like the carbon fiber as well as the uh the little stri the stripes livery here which is actually what you would see on both Razors and Jade's uh, Mustangs, so I'm not sure. I haven't really checked if, if th this is in, on any the other vinyls. If you're just wanting to put it on yourself, so you might need extra options to just easily put it on yourself. But if 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 not, then hey, this is uh, the way you're gonna have to get it is getting it from uh, Jade specifically, because Razor Mustang is not obtainable unless you do some sort of uh, modding stuff to basically give it to you. Uh, so how does this uh, Mustang drive? It actually technically on top end feels the slowest, but that being said, this also feels like it has the best handling. Like handling wise, is actually pretty damn nice on this uh, Mustang. It, it's the sharp. It's definitely the sharpest and. Feels like it grips the most. It's 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 without question the nicest of the three in terms of driving around corners. But on the top end, it's definitely the slowest. So it's kind of weird, you know. 
but I guess it. I guess I'm not really surprised that so far it looks like the RTRX is going to be the fastest because you know it is the most race uh, designed of all of the three Mustangs. To be fair, but so but yeah, this at least the Mustang here can still hit 200 miles an hour, but not much after that. And that was actually quite nice. This thing has enough grip. That thing, this car had enough grip to get me around that corner, at keeping it at 180. That's pretty good. Keep it nice, cool. Yeah, 58.3. So if I can get just find a little more time to shake off, like this could be uh, fighting it with the, that uh, with that super snake to get uh, the better lap time of the two. And I would, I would certainly like to to hope it could because you know. This is a this is a, mo a more well done mod compared to the uh, Super Snake. And by the way, the Super Snake doesn't even have like a standard like paint thing. It just comes with that uh, scheme on it. So even <clears throat> even on the uh, even on the, a deliveried M3 GTR in this game, which is just like a, a red paint job, uh, it still has that that livery. So you can't get rid of it. Well, that was close. I was kind of worried I was going to hit it, but thankfully I kept it off. So, let's see if this last lap is going to be the one. Not exactly the smoothest, but hey. I, th I think overall I was technically the faster, but... Oh, look at that! That was actually a pretty damn good lap at 57.55. The, the excellent handling of this mu of the Mustang pushed it uh, over the Super Snake. So, you know, pretty much kind of what I expected. You know, all three of these cars can at least do sub one minute, so that's definitely great. But so, if you like any of these Mustangs, uh, go for uh, whichever one you like the most. Personally, in terms of performance, I would definitely, I'd say I kind of like this the most, especially because you know it does just replace the standard Mustang GT. But I also did quite like how the uh, RTR X drives. So drived, drives. So yeah. Anyway, so let's see where they rank on the leaderboard. And of course, we come over to the leaderboard now, and the fastest car of the day in 90th place is the Ford Mustang Team Need for Speed RTRX with a 55.7 second lap time, just edging out the Viper ACR lead and Porsche 944 Turbo, a bit back on the Cobalt SS, and I really mean a bit, and the 1989 Batmobile. Just try to speed these up a little bit more because I do tend to go on a bit sometimes. Uh, next up, we have the Ford Shelby GT500. Super Snake, the run edition, which is not next up, that's third up, the last one. Next up is actually the Ford Shelby GT500 Need for Speed Movie Edition in 124th place with a 57.55. It's 100th faster than the Zonda F and also quicker than, just a little quicker than the Clio V6 and a little bit more on the Ascari KZ1 and Richie Lago, but it's just a bit off of the Evo 8, F1 GT Longtail, Renault 5 Turbo 2, and the Stratos and M3. And now the last up properly, sorry, the Shelby GT500 Super Snake, the run edition, the slowest car of the day in 136th place with a 58.21 second, just edges out the Lotus Europa S and also beats out the Subaru BRZ and Subaru BRZ, excuse me, and 06 Impreza WRX SDI, and it's just a tad off of the Porsche 911 Turbo S, Fiesta Ken Block Global, Global Rally Cross Edition, excuse me, I can't English today, and the Gallardo LP560-4 2013. So that's gonna do it for today's episode guys uh and yes like i said just to give you just so you know i'm not trying to bs you can see i've closed it down for now because yeah you can see just how many there is there's this is uh I'll, you won't see it on screen but this is 241 here and the top one here is a uh, four now that's gonna change because I still haven't taken out the Mustang ones yet but that just goes to show you just really how many I actually do have on here which is so that's why I closed it down for now because I really do want to get through this list but uh, regardless I hope you do enjoy uh, future episodes I got some more uh, themed episode ideas planned so stay tuned for that as always guys if you want to check out my Twitter my twitch my forum board or my patreon if you want to support the channel they're all in the links down below and if you also want to submit videos to the highlight reel that is also down below I definitely appreciate it if you did, but not required, of course. And of course, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and take care.